after that 2-2 draw, coming from behind twice. Dennis Coutry, the manager, is alongside me now. Is your overriding emotion after that, what, relief or just annoyance that you haven't killed the game on? Yeah, more annoyed. Definitely not a relief uh, because I think we had enough chances um, to win the game today. Yeah, um, was one uh, bad piece of defending in the second half where we conceded a goal. Uh, still, when it was in the changing room, when they scored the first goal after one minute, which is not good enough. We know that, um, but we're still in, in the cup and we can do better on Tuesday and need to make sure that we uh, get a win on Tuesday. Managers always say, the last thing I want is a replay, don't they? Is it the last thing you want? Yeah, obviously. But for us at this moment in time, maybe it's not too bad because we have many, many players which are coming back, which need minutes. And um, so it's it's not the worst thing in the world. So uh, we get minutes into the boys, which definitely need minutes. Uh, you could see with Mati Fanimo, for example, Don Polion back today. So um, it's good that we get uh, some extra minutes for some boys, which definitely needs minutes. Mm. You start to the game, um, couldn't have asked for a worse start already. What happened there? Yeah, uh, was one set piece not uh, not defending enough, so or not good enough. Uh, we will watch it back and then we see. Uh, but definitely, we have to do better. We can't be down one goal after one minute. It gives them so much confidence. Regardless, I think we had I don't know. If it felt like we had ninety percent possession. Mm. We we're all around the box. Had numerous box entries, some crosses, some shots, some cutbacks, some whatever. Uh, still couldn't get it over the line. At least we had, uh, have scored from two set pieces. That's positive, uh, and we created some chances. Obviously, you always want to have more, and you want to see better, and you want to see more clear-cut chances. But if an opponent defends with ten players in the box or with nine and one up top, it's always difficult. And it will be the same on Tuesday. We need to find solutions. Uh, and as I said, um, there were some uh, positive things today, but some negatives as well, because obviously you need to be able to uh, beat a side which is one league below. But um, as I said, we still have a good chance to come into the next round and we have to do better on Tuesday. Yeah, um, and both, both the goals, I think both came from, from corners. It, it, the goalkeeper seemed to be, um, for some reason, struggling with some of those high balls in the area. It was, were you deliberately targeting that? Is that where you saw perhaps where you would convert from set piece? Yeah, we always uh, do our homework and that's obvious to see and everyone in the stadium yeah. could see. Uh, so uh, that will be the same on Tuesday, uh, and that's positive. But apart from that, uh, we need to be sure, uh, need to make sure that we're up for it, and that we chase the game from the first minute. It's not 30 minutes extra time; it's 90 minutes plus extra time, and mm. we need to be ready for that. Yeah. Is that, um, are any of your players claiming the goals, or were they both own goals? I don't know. I can't tell you. No. Okay. Um, Dominic Polian on the bench today. Quite surprised to see that because I thought if he was fit, he'd be playing for St Lucia. How did that work out this week? Did he did he not get a call up, or how did that work? No, it was just in a short uh, short notice that we realised he's ready to go, and we said like, okay, if he's really ready to go, and he was a bit far ahead of his own schedule, so it was meant to be that he still needs one or two more weeks. But uh, he was very professional to come back, and in the last minute we could make the call that um, he can play some minutes, build up for the next game. We we'll make decisions now for. Tuesday, uh, if he can get already more minutes, um, or if he can get minutes on Saturday or the next Tuesday after one play Southend. So, um, but good to see that he came through, had two good chances to score a goal, uh, and I'm pretty sure next game or second next game, whatever, he will score his goals and he will be fine. Yeah, I mean, it looked like he was going to score today, didn't it? I mean, as soon as he came on, he's been itching, making up for lost time while he's been out injured. How good is it, how important it is for, for you and for the rest of the team as well, and the supporters, to see him back out on the pitch? No, it's amazing. You could see um, even the fans were so happy to see him back. Uh, that was amazing to see. Uh, for me as a manager, it's always good to see uh, that you have players available and you could see we had 18 players available today. Um, and um, this is always a good situation for me uh, and they will come back uh, shortly the other players as well so we are in a much better position than where we have been two weeks ago yeah um, a couple of other players I want to ask you about um, Matty Fnimo got his first start for the club how did you feel he got on oh yeah he played a good game had two chances to score a goal uh, had an impact uh, on, on on the wide side um, so I'm I'm, I'm I'm happy with him came through fine didn't pick up another injury as far as I know um, so that's positive to see and uh, you can see he will he will make us stronger Similar to uh, Don Polion when he was on the pitch, you could see there was straight away um, a little bit uh, more determination and he had a chance straight away, I think 30 seconds after he came on, where he could have scored. So you can see there is uh, definitely 
positive signs going forward. Mm. And the other one, um, we asked you about a player who actually wasn't involved today, Jordan Ibe on the bench. Um, so you brought him in. Obviously, he's done it at the very, very top level in this uh, in this country. What, what, what can he add to the side? He's not been involved in football for the last couple of years. So it could be seen as a risk, but you obviously feel it's a risk worth taking. Oh, for me, it's not a risk because he's an outstanding football player. He needs a bit of time. Um, he needs to get used to it. Uh, he needs to get you, or his body needs to get used to playing football again and and being sharp and being ready. And the things which I saw in training, they are definitely very very promising for me. I'm looking forward to have him on the pitch, and he's a he's a great signing for the club because you don't have often the opportunity to sign uh, someone like him. And from this point of view, I think it's a win-win situation for him and for us. If we get him back on track, he won't be long with us. That's my gut feeling. Uh, but uh, I think he can already see what we try to do and what we try to achieve together as a as a club and as a team. And he wants to be part of it. So I'm I'm, I'm just looking forward, and uh, we need to make sure that he's really sharp and ready to go. And uh, then, as I said, he would definitely will help us. Mm. Okay. Good luck in the replay Tuesday night, Dennis. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you.